You know what time it is. We're at the manga store and I need manga. Let's buy some. The bookstore smells so good. I love that bookstore smell. That smell of paper. Now, where is this manga section at? Here we go. We got some slip cases, some manga. Ooh, and we got some Naruto Ichi Ramen candy. I bet these taste like complete crap. Six dollars. Believe it. All right, we all got the normal stuff over here. Jujutsu Kaisen, Spy Family, Attack on Titan. Does anybody like these box sets? Like specifically like them? Ooh, that toilet bound one is good though. They have a nice light novel section and thank you for splitting them up. Some places do not separate the manga and the light novels. This Yokohama series always catches my eye. Look at those gleaming words on it and it looks like a nice story to read. Has anyone read or tried this? I would definitely be interested in seeing if it's any good. So please let me know down below. They have an all right selection. There is some new things out that I want to make sure I'm looking for or grabbing. And ding, 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 we found one. Tokyo Revengers 19 and 20 Omnibus. Been enjoying this series, picking that up. All right, here is another one. I like this hardcover and this bird. Has anybody read this Tokyo these days? I want to know if it's Dees. I have, I have no clue what it's about. And of course we got Tomahawk Angel. It is Baller Shot Collar. So make sure you are trying and picking that one up. The mangaka is super awesome. All right, what do we got up here? Slime three in one omnibus. Who was asking for this? Are you someone who was asking for a three in one slime? It is not hard to get these slimes. They are not out of print and they're everywhere. So who wanted the three in one? I just, I don't know. Maybe they're starting early. I, I don't know, but check this out. We got mint. Kodansha, Tops of the Spines, and by mint, I mean trashed, like always. Let's keep this rolling here. What else do we got? Got the Seven Deadly Sins one. This is an omnibus that I do like. It looks better than that slime one. And I really enjoy the connecting spines. They do just a great job with them. And obviously, this manga, Spines Connecting, is kind of like DBZ. It's following the Dragon Ball type stuff. Lots of goodies here. I am definitely grabbing some things off screen. Just to make it less annoying to hold up while I film. We got Paris there, the Pokemon Paris. I think those spines are coming together real nice and looking sweet. Moving down so much stuff. Does, any, does anybody ever get like overwhelmed when you look and you're like, man, I got to look and read every spine or I'm going to miss something. Sometimes I feel that way. Actually, most times I feel that way. All right, we got Jujutsu Kaisen number 22. I need that one. There's 21 making sure I have that one yes so i'll grab this jujutsu kaisen as we know very confusing <laughs> their ability system is whack and here we go king in limbo i did try number one i was thinking volume two was out at the time but they must not have it and that is barnes and noble for you generally the barns around me don't put out things early but here we have a stack of their little books that they will be putting on the shelves and what do we got snowball earth here's one i was looking for i want to try this one so i'm picking this up here's another new one the fable i love that yellow that pops and that bird i don't know what this is about so i'm not going to just jump in and buy it right now i buy too much stuff so we'll wait and see on that one all right, what is next? 
not the greatest selection. Like I said, they're missing some stuff. We got Fist of the North Star here. Is that new? No, I have that one, I believe. Fist of the North Star looks so good with those blood splatters. I love it. Got some fruits, baskets, baskets full of fruit. And we got another omnibus. I'm just checking these all out. These Kodansha omnibuses. This one feels better. I think, I don't know how many volumes of cells at work there are, but I think it's only two omnibuses. What's next? What do we got over here? Same old stuff. Here we go. We got Dan Day Dan, number seven. Their their color schemes on these are on point. I really enjoy the covers. Look at those spines. When you got all the different ones together, it looks really cool. I definitely enjoy it. The series is all right, not the greatest, but it's you know it's above average. Here we go, people. I need your help. I keep seeing these dragon quests. Are they good? I like that orange in them. Little splashes of orange. Are these good? Are these worth a read? Please let me know. What is this? Dragon King's Imperial blah blah. Don't want that. Here we go. What is this? Dracula. Don't know about that. Don't know if it's good. I'm not a big vampire guy. So I'm not quite sure if that would be up my alley. All right, jumping around here. So much to look at. Got to aim my camera right. Those Attack on Titans are so ugly. Oh my gosh. Please get a hardcover with those for crying out loud. They don't have the next boxer, which is a bummer. They don't got the next blood on the tracks. That's a bummer. And we got some random crap down here. Not interested in that. They have a pretty decent manga selection. Not the best. Does anybody ever go to the Harry Potter section in Barnes & Noble? They always have such a giant Harry Potter collection with like everything. You're seeing all those Legos there and figures. But this is the stuff I love. I love little gacha stuff. And Barnes doesn't really have them. But they have these like funny little gift things. We got the Lucky Dog, which is cute. Oh man, a wacky waveable tube, man, that you can put on your desk. A little baby one. I could have this in the background on streams. A whole line of little baby tube men. Whoa, they got a baby cornhole. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck playing that game. Man. These are fun to look at. Finger twister? Come on. And the more Harry Potter stuff. I am a Harry Potter fan, so I do like looking at all this stuff. I mean, Harry Potter, the books and the movies have been over for years, but they just have all this stuff still. They're making these new books that you see here, and we are collecting them. They are, in my opinion, the best books out. They have so much cool stuff in them. People, I am always sitting on my desk chair, whether I'm doing work or editing or, heck, even reading my manga. And I'm always having trouble if it's for longer periods of time. I get uncomfortable or I don't feel supported, but not anymore. The chair I got is the FlexiSpot C7G. It has a self adaptive dynamic system. It means it has a great lumbar support cushion which detects changes in your posture and automatically adjusts itself to move around to ensure constant support throughout the day. And you are able to even adjust it on your own and lock it into place. You can recline and relax from 90 degrees to 128 degrees and you also can get the foot rest as you see here for even more comfort. It has some of the best adjustable armrests to any height and they can go forward and backwards and even aim in or out. The fully enclosed headset will adjust to whatever your neck needs of sitting and relaxing for long periods of time. The C7 even has flat or forward seat tilt which can relieve pressure and prevents fatigue during long hours of sitting. The FlexiSpot C7s are premium ergonomic chairs with warranties which range from three years plus so it gives you that sweet peace 
peace of mind. The chairs are built to last and will keep you supported and keep you comfortable all day long. FlexiSpot is having their brand day sale, which only happens once a year. So use the exclusive code BDC7 for up to 60% off, which makes right now the best time to get your favorite new desk or chair. Okay, we are back. Let me move these out of the way. Let me show you what we got. First one, I did end up picking up the Danny Day Danny number seven. The series has been pretty all right so far. You know, it doesn't, doesn't blow me away, but it's fun, action packed, and the colors they use on these is great. Next up, I did pick up, as you saw, the Tokyo Revengers 1920. This one has a little bit of damage on the corner, which I did not see at the time, which is hecka hecka lame, but maybe I will go and get that replaced. Excited to read that one, faux show. Sure. Here's another one I showed on screen. I did end up picking up some manga off screen that I didn't, you know, show in the video or talk about, so I'll show them after these ones. Picked up Jujutsu Kaisen 22. Hopefully it is still all right and gets less confusing, but unlikely. Then I picked up this new series that I wanted to try. Let me know if anybody else has tried this already. This is Snowball Earth number one. This is a, a Viz Sig. Uh, this one looked cool. Definitely want to try it out. It, it sounds cool and looks cool. So there's that. Here's some I did not show while I was shopping that my wife picked up. Victoria's Electric coffin what in the, what in the world is that about this is a square enix manga and of course picked up komi cannot communicate 29 volumes in and she has not even said a word yet she doesn't know how to communicate that is a joke can't believe this is almost at 30 that is crazy we got kikurio if i'm saying that right bed and breakfast for spirits wife really likes this series this volume however shoujo beat is a little on the skimper side I'm not too excited about that. Paying the new $11.99 full price for teenier volumes uncool then i got this one which i've seen other people pick up and i wanted to try this also and let's see if i can pronounce this goku raku guy or something i <laughs> i don't know i'm sure it has a better way of pronouncing it and better name uh this one looks cool it sounds cool and the art looks pretty good and the action scenes look fun i've heard some ish reviews on it and uh people do seem to like it so i do not buy in store as often as a lot of people paying retail for manga is not great and i never pay retail for manga you know barely ever but it's always fun to go and get manga physically instead of just getting it in the mail all the time let me know if there was anything you would have picked up and i'll see you all next time